All right, this is a uh, farting in Nick's chair. Take one. beautiful sound in the world so I know ice getting to work so this is a promise and I know I've actually made this promise like 45 times saying I'm not gonna be a Falcons fan if we if the Falcons come away from the draft using a first round pick on Desmond Ritter I'm officially a Jets fan come May 1st only Desmond Ritter yeah yeah if we take Desmond Ritter in the first round I'm gonna absolutely lose my shit what if they take someone else random like outside of uh, Willis or Pickett that's fine. I don't need them drafting a quarter. I don't need them using their first round pick on a quarterback this year. I don't. I mean, the class is not that great, and like, I don't. Like, that's not, what I'm saying. But like, it could instead of being Desmond Ritter. If it's it fucking be, Desmond Ritter, I'm no longer a Falcons fan, and I'm a Jets fan. That's that. We're not putting stipulations. You want to get a fucking lawyer and get a contract and a proposal together? Put it together. I'm gonna rip it up. Desmond Ritter comes to Atlanta with our first round pick. I'm a Jets fan. I'm all in on Zach Wilson. Kid's a star. about doing the Bengals like four years ago before it was like actually cool. I thought about doing uh, the Raiders right before they moved to Las Vegas. Oh, no. uh, but I can't like go on to the Bills. I can't go on to any of those teams. I can't do like the Giants because you guys are just unfucking bearable I would never be able to go to like more than a single tailgate in a year. So the natural next selection team is the Jets because at least they're like I have some um, we have some community here. I have Jets fans that are friends of mine, and they're really bad, so I can jump in at the bottom and seem like it's more of a loyal thing. And my grandpa is a lifelong Jets fan. He has a really, really cool bomber jacket of the Jets. So that's like the real reason I'm probably gonna be a Jets fan. If you fan. steal the jacket, I think that's a good reason to be a Jets fan. It's a sick bomber, it's like shiny, it's like silky, <laughs> it's like bright green, and I'm gonna fucking wear it every day. It's gonna make your traps look good. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you can. I think you you're think qualified to become a Bills fan. And I would just, if I were you, I would just do it. Just make the switch. Josh Allen's fun to root for. Dude, I can't become Bills a Mafia Bills Bills is a fan. wild fan base. I think you want to be part Although of it. Although it is, I mean, listen, we're a New York brand. It's the only New York team. That's what I'm saying. The math adds up. Do I become a Bills and a Jets fan and a Patriots fan and a and a Dolphins fan just for the fuck and of it? And a Falcons fan. Stay a Falcons fan. What if you became a fan of everybody in the South except the Falcons? What if I just became a fan of all 31 teams other than the Falcons altogether? I like that. What if I just started watching basketball instead? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get some work done. The Jets aren't going to be in the red anymore. Tell like all my Jets fan uh, friends that say like we're building. I know you better than them. I know more. Zach, Wil Zach Wilson is. Why would you be so upset if they pick, um... As a Ritter? Yeah. He sucks. He's like Daniel Jones again. I just don't like him. I don't see them... I don't see you guys going for, like, any type of quarterback in the draft this year. I don't either, but someone had brought it up, like, they're going to take Desmond Ritter, and then I'm just like, I'm done. Not a first-round pick, though. They'll take any of those He guys. might go in the first, just because he had a really good, like, pretty good combine and pro day and shit. Um, I just don't think there's any QB talent in this draft that they're going to want to reach for. I'd be fine if we took Malik or Kenny Pickett, but... I think both of those guys are going high. Yeah. So who are the quarterbacks this year? Malik, Pickett, and Corral? Right. There's Matt Corral, Sam Howell, Carson Strong, and Desmond Sam Ritter. Howell was supposed to be a stud. Carson Strong is my guy, so don't worry about him. He's my guy. Strong. Carson Strong is Jimmy G again. Stud. Dude, Carson Strong He just looks apart, but plays like half his size. He's got a cannon arm. No, and he, no. fucking, he has a fucking baby arm. He has a cannon arm. He has a cannon arm, and he reads defenses and changes and calls audibles at the, at the line in college. Like, like against Mountain West. In college, he plays pro style. I like that. So he's, probably these guys, he's probably not in the first round pick. Sick these guys that run a spread offense and come in, they don't know how to take a fucking uh, a snap under center. Get your thumb up the button. Get in there. They'll yeah. do it. Like Paxton Lynch never took a snap under center in college. Where is he today? So you're not attracted to the quarterback. Exactly. 
Who? Who'd you say? Paxton Lynch. Oh. Just <laughs> hurt. Yeah, but I think one, if not two, of Howell, Ritter. So, like, teams will just follow themselves into, t- like, trading up to the pick 26, 27, or whatever. Maybe. I think those guys will all go in the second. I think they should. Yeah. I think Carson Strong should go in, like, the fourth or fifth, but. He's going in the third or fourth. Yeah, he's not going in the second. He's late day three, if not in Yeah, he's going to go to the Broncos. We're going to take him in the fourth round. They, he might have to return to college. Be a perfect spot for him to learn, learn under Russ Wilson, our franchise quarterback. For the next 10 years, he can learn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like three. He's got three years left, tops. Russ? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Three solid years, that's it. Give me a year and a half. Obviously, <laughs> like, I, I, I would agree with closer to that yeah. in 10 years. I was being generous with three. I'm just trying to be a fan. Yeah, it's a real big burrito. True. It's a thick board. Is this getting back at me for uh, filming you eat your food? No. I'm just curious, what are you eating? Ham sandwich. Every day. Big ham sandwich guy. Big ham guy, really. Lean ham, good protein, low fat. Uh, can't beat it. Alright, you already got me biting into fucking ham like a maniac. You don't need any more of it. Are we gonna have a problem? So you got a guy, is that like a friend? Is it like a... You just got a guy. A guy. Well, yeah, how I'm much is that gonna him. cost? Don't worry about it, I'll, I'll take care of him. You'll take care of him? That's like, you just provided endless jokes. He, he's, I got a guy, two weeks. I got a guy who owes me a favor. All right, if you wanna use that personal favor on this, it'd be huge. It's worst, worst case scenario, we, could, we can get another, we can get my fr- friend Vladimir from this morning back here. Is that his name? I don't know. Oh, dude, I was actually, my guy was, uh, that one task rabbit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you, you were gonna fucking pay for a task rabbit to come? Are you gonna order the same guy? <laughs> no, I got my, my guy's chance. It would have been funnier if you did order the same guy, honestly. There was a guy, um, Vitali. Is that the guy that you had? Could have been. He's a beast. He hung them blinds up like a fucking champ. No, his name was Anton. He's labeled as an elite tasker. Yeah, these guys are all elite. I only, I only fuck with elite. Yeah. I only get the best. I'll send you the guys I know. Just take care of it. Do you want me to do it or not? Kind of, yeah. Just do it. Like send it to you or just do no, it? Like do just it. book it? Just book it. All right, cool. Bang, bang. Chance will fucking be here. Um, He's a builder? Is that like his specialty? Yeah, I search for furniture assembly. Can't, I can't imagine anything more specific than that. I would get the job done. Tony, what is that caption? What do you think, Tony? Exciting stuff. I think I got a guy a chance. Nice. Tomorrow at noon, we'll see you. Try it out. How do I know? Do they get they respond? Job. Do I have to put my phone number in here? I guess that makes sense, right? So I think Does they ask you for it? I don't know. Literally says mobile phone number. Oh dude, you didn't even invite me to get save ten dollars. It's fucked up. Task for duty contact your chat. Less than an hour. So I gotta wait. Sick. <laughs> Let's work. Daddy's leaving us. Children are gonna be okay without me. 
Yeah, I'm about to put this whole fucking thing together. You're gonna come back like a professional did it. I said the animal promise. I guarantee it'll be done. Like a professional. Like a professional. I'm gonna come back. This place is gonna look worse for sure. <laughs> it's just gonna be a bunch of fucking metal like knights all over the ground. It's gonna have more boxes like, here. Screws and bolts everywhere. Um, I mean, yeah, you guys obviously don't need to come in tomorrow if you don't have anything to do in the office. Oh, I'm coming in, baby. I gotta fucking finish this. this is a we'll job. see if he comes in. This is a two-day job, my man. Get it done professionally, like I said I would. Uh, NFL Network, please. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I know. Every time I do it. How'd you do that? So I do, I get, I get things done in the office. What the fuck is this? It's a bookshelf. Nick's just ordering mad shit. I don't know what he's ordering. You got two bookshelves? Oh, fuck me. This office is a mess, Tony. Big ass bookshelves. No. So, uh, Nick's been out of the office for uh, exactly like one day now, maybe not even a full day, and the place is already falling apart. So uh, I'm in here trying to figure out how we can fix this, because if you look around the office, we've got cardboard boxes everywhere, styrofoam sticking out, uh, trees and plants dying, we've probably spent thousands of dollars on plants and they're all dying. Spilled drinks just like sitting there. You go into the kitchen, there's just a box. There's just a box in the middle of the kitchen. No one's even moved it, no one's opened it. It's falling apart, so we're gonna hold some auditions and uh, see if we can find someone to replace Nick, because we are sinking fast. What's cracking? Dogs! Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the headquarters. This is BDGE Big Dogs. Gotta eat. And on today's video, we'll be talking about the top 10 running backs that I would make out with in a dark alley. What's crap, Big Dogs? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the headquarters. This is Big Dogs. Gotta Ike. What's cracking, big dogs? Welcome, bike, to the channel. Welcome, bike, to the HQ. This is Big Dogs Gotta Eat. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top five wide receivers that can catch these hands. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I think it has to do with uh, switching up the colors. Yeah, so I mean, if you want, I'll drill these fuckers in today, and if it works, it works. If not, then we, you know, we call them back and say, listen, you sent us the wrong shit, and you gave us shitty instructions, and that's it. Yeah, I guess go for it then, and uh, let me know how that goes. Alrighty. We got the check mark. Let's go. All, All right. Well, uh, yeah, keep me updated. All right. See ya. What do we use to drill into? Like, I don't know what, uh, I don't know if these are that. I guess they are. That's weird, because there's some like bullets. Like Pre-made holes. We need to figure out that privacy screen, because there's a gap. There's nowhere to drill this, though. Do we want the privacy screen? I also don't know where it is. Like the actual screen itself, like that's all I've found is the hooks. I haven't seen any screens, which makes me think they sent the wrong fucking tabletop. <laughs> fucking lying bitches. Yeah, there's no, there's no. Above desk magnetic glass divider. That's it, it's glass. Fuck that, I'm not doing that. We don't need a glass fucking divider. Yeah, so that's not, I wonder if that matters. We're not like even as far, like the tabletop, it's just not even with the bar. I mean, it works, but like, it doesn't even look like it fits the bracket. Whoops! 
So gross after this. It's a little off. Just a tiny bit. It's good on this end, it just it kind of goes. I think that leg just needs to be like shimmy. It just doesn't fit fill the corner. I think it's just the way it's cut. It like goes like this. It's not gonna matter, like as long as it's stable. Oh, it's gonna be stable. <clears throat> All right, that's good, good cut. All right. Couch is perfect. It works just like this. No need to build it. I don't see any need. Like a rock. All right. What'd you do? Put broccoli in the microwave. Put like, like half a cup of broccoli in the microwave. Now apparently it smells like dog shit in here. No, it smells like a fart. It smells like a fart. Steam, like, like a steamed fart. Steamed fart. It's about to be a lot worse. You're just pounding fucking carrots and salsa? Yeah. What Man, I'm trying to pound broccoli too, but what, what is they're with complaining you? about. Who's with you today? This is uh, office etiquette 101. No fish, no microwave broccoli. All right, no more broccoli. At least in the microwave. <laughs> I don't know if that, I don't, I don't know if the broccoli is gonna be the issue. The issue is I'm about to fucking shit my pants. So I'm about to finish a pound of carrots. I started eating a little bit of broccoli, ate a little bit of turkey. So yeah, we're throwing fucking broccoli in the air fryer. Feel bad for you guys. I don't feel bad. I, I actually no. I physically feel bad, but I don't give a fuck about the smell. Throwing away some broccoli. I can't do it. What do you want, Ike? <laughs> 